welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you all of my favorite face tools and devices. This video was highly requested by the way, so I'm going to be showing you everything that I love using on a weekly basis. Now these are things that really do work wonders for my skin. I see incredible results depending on if I'm experiencing discoloration, I have puffiness in the morning. There's a lot of things here that just make my skincare routine even that much better. So let's get right into it, but don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well. All right, so let's get right into it. So the first tool that I'm gonna be talking about is the facial roller. So it looks like this right here. You can get them in all different types of shapes and colors. And I really like the one that is like a stainless steel titanium, I guess you could say, because I keep this in the fridge. Sometimes I will even place it in the freezer and I love using this in my morning skincare routine. Do I use this every day? No, but I will use it several times a week, especially when I want to wake up my face. I want to help with lymphatic drainage. And if my under eyes are super puffy, I really like to use this and just go in circular motions in this area going upward and I just feel like it really helps to depuff and it just wakes up my face you know like I will go around the jawbone I go up my neck I go up on my forehead I do everything in upwards motion but of course in the eye area I do go like this <laughs> I do like to sweep it to the right or to the left I don't go upward with it of course but this is just one of those facial tools that really won't do anything for fine lines but it's more for massaging the face it really helps to spread the product across your face it helps to depuff and it really just helps with circulation and I just love stuff like this so again I like to keep this in the fridge sometimes in the freezer I typically don't use this at night but I do use it in the morning a couple of times a week and this has made such a big difference in my skincare routine especially on those days where I feel tired and I need to perk up my skin. The next tool that I really love using is a gua sha. Now if I have somewhere special to go or I want my face to look super snatched, you know having that nice defined jawline or having my cheekbones nice and defined where they pop, I will resort to a gua sha. This works absolutely incredible. This is like giving your face a facelift and if you have a lot of fluid in your face, this is going to help with lymphatic drainage. And there are so many different techniques and ways to use this, of course, but I will use this maybe once a week, maybe once every couple of weeks. I don't use this every day, of course, but this works wonders. And I feel like this works a lot better than the facial roller to help with lymphatic drainage. This is what's going to give you that nice snatched face and it feels really nice as well. You feel like you're getting a nice massage and you're really helping with blood circulation also. And when you're done with this, yes, yeah, sometimes our face can look a little red. Mine definitely does. But once that redness tones down, your skin has this natural brightness to it because you have that nice blood flow going. So it really does perk up your skin and it really helps to get everything moving in my opinion. And when I use this, I will use it with a facial oil or sometimes, and usually this is what I do, I use a cleanser. So sometimes I will resort to the Inkyless Oak Cleansing Balm, or sometimes I will resort to more of an oily cleanser, and I will just use this with a cleanser, and then of course when I'm done, I can rinse my face, and then go in with all of my skincare products, because normally I don't like using facial oils. Sometimes I will, if I don't have anywhere to go, but I like using this with cleansers. So that's a tip for you in case you don't like facial oils either, but this is really great and I highly recommend it. I also really love using the New Face Trinity device. I do have a lengthy video up on my channel, which of course I will leave below for you and up here. I review it, but then I share a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this. So if you have it and you don't know how to use it, you can actually do it with me in that video. And if you're thinking about purchasing one of these I would recommend watching that video first because it will give you a good idea whether this is something for you or not because this is pretty expensive so if you're going to spend the money you really want to be consistent with it to achieve long-term results so this is a microcurrent device that works with a conducting gel and this is going to stimulate your facial muscles training them to be lifted and contoured and you will get a snatched face with this and eventually you will maintain 
that nice snatched look. So it's not going to be temporary. At first it will be until your face gets more adjusted with this and the more consistent you are, the better the results. So at first it will be temporary. So it will last for a majority of the day. And then of course you will have to do it again and again to get your skin to where it's going to be trained, where it's going to be lifted and contoured. So right now I'm trying to really focus it on my eyebrow area and my forehead because I do have one eyebrow that's more lifted than the other. That's just me, that's just my natural facial expressions. I'm more expressive with this side of my face than this side. So I'm actually using the lip and eye attachment to really train my eyebrow to be lifted and to also train the forehead area as well so that I can even out both sides eventually. And when I first do this in the morning, I really do see a big difference where this side is more lifted, but then of course towards the night, everything starts to drop a little bit. That's why consistency is key with this. And I cannot recommend this enough. This is the Trinity, but they do have the mini, which just comes with the spheres. That one is going to be really beneficial as well. Of course, you don't have the option with the lip and eye attachment or with the LED attachment, but this is still going to be amazing on its own. I also really love using an LED light therapy mask. Now this one is by Current Body and I do have a video on this talking about the technology, the red light versus near infrared light, the nanometer numbers, and I go into a lot of detail in that video. So if you haven't seen it, I will leave it below for you in my description box as well as up here. But red light therapy can be really beneficial for so many people. If you have dark spots, discoloration, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that is caused by acne, you have fine lines and wrinkles, a dull complexion, red light can really help to improve all of these skin concerns. It will give you a brighter complexion, it will fade your discoloration, and this can help to soften your fine lines, especially when you're consistent with this. So those mornings when I'm not using the new face trinity, I will use this because I feel like if I use both in the same day, it's just very time consuming and I don't have that kind of time in the morning. So I will use this on those mornings when I'm not using my new face. So it's a nice mask. It's very mobile. It fits nicely onto your face. You do have a Velcro attachment that you can wrap around your head to secure it in place. And then of course you have the button here to turn it on and it looks like that right there. And this will turn off automatically in 10 minutes. So it's a 10 minute treatment that you can do every day or of course every other day, whatever you wanna do. And I like using it in my morning routine because of course it helps to brighten up my complexion, but you can use this at night. You can use this during a day. Just make sure you have a clean face. Don't have makeup on, don't have sunscreen or thick moisturizers. You wanna cleanse your skin, use this, and then go in with all of your other skincare products afterwards. Red light therapy is absolutely amazing. You're hearing a lot of people talking about it now. And then of course there's blue light therapy, which is great for those that have acne, but the red light is perfect for signs of aging. So I really do like this and I highly, highly recommend something like this, especially if you have the time for it and you enjoy using stuff like this. I also really love using the Ferrero Luna Mini. I believe this is the Luna Mini 2. I've had this for a few years now, and I do believe they came out with a Luna Mini 3. To me, they look very similar, but I'm sure they're a little bit different. But this is a cleansing device, and it actually has a nice vibration to it. So it really helps to lift any dirt, oil, sunscreen, makeup, from your first cleanse. Sometimes when I cleanse my skin with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm, sometimes not all of my makeup comes off. So this, during the second cleanse, really helps to remove any makeup or sunscreen that you missed from your first cleanse. And I used to use this every morning and every night. And this actually helped to improve my breakouts as well. But then I stopped using it because I was using tretinoin, I was starting to use other things that were sensitizing my skin, and I didn't want to use this with products that were already sensitizing my skin because this was just going to make things worse. So there was actually a year that I stopped using this. But recently, I started using this again because if I'm experiencing flaky skin and I have a lot of dryness around my mouth, my nose, or my forehead from tretinoin, this actually helps to remove that surface flaky dead skin. So instead of using a direct acid to remove that surface dead skin, I will actually use this. And this is very gentle. I just go in circular motions everywhere. And when I'm done and I pat my face dry, 
all of that dead skin is completely gone and my skin looks nice and bright and it's ready for my skincare products. So right now I'm just using this to remove dead skin, but if you love cleansing devices, I think you will really like this because of course it has that nice vibration and it really does clean really well. And if you're breakout prone, you might want to look into this as well because I really did feel like this was improving my breakouts a couple years ago and this was exceptional. This isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I really do think that it can be beneficial for a lot of people. And the last device that I use is the Flawless Finishing Touch Hair Removal. This is designed to remove peach fuzz. And I use this on my face to remove the peach fuzz from my sideburn area, along my jawline, and above my lip. This is not meant for thick, coarse, dense hair. So if you have that on your face or anywhere in your body, please do not use this because number one, it's not going to work. Number two, you're going to ruin the blade. This is very dainty. It's not that powerful and it's very small. So again, this is only designed for peach fuzz only. And you wanna go in circular motions where you have the peach fuzz. And I do this once a week just to maintain that. And my makeup applies a lot nicer onto my skin. I get that nice smooth complexion and my skincare products absorb into my skin a lot nicer as well when there's no peach fuzz in the way. So this works amazing. So what you can do is you can change the blades as they age. So you just spin it off. All of that peach fuzz and sometimes dead skin will go in there. You just dump it out, put the blade back on and turn it on just like that. And then you go in circular motions everywhere on a clean, dry face. You wanna make sure that you cleanse your face, dry your skin really well, because if your skin is a little bit damp, this is not going to glide very nicely. You really wanna make sure that everything is super dry. And then when you're done, just rinse your face off and then go in with your skincare products afterwards. And I promise you, my peach fuzz has not grown in thicker, denser, longer, nothing. Everything grows back the way it was before I started using this. I believe that's a myth. My hair is not darker or denser or thicker. I promise you, I promise you, because if that were to happen, I would not be using this. I would have thrown this away a long time ago. I'd be freaking out trying to find ways to fix the issue. But I promise you, this is incredible and I highly, highly recommend it. So those are all of my go-to face tools and devices. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful and hopefully I introduced you to something new today. Let me know if you use any face tools and devices, especially the ones that I shared in this video. And is there anything that you would recommend? Is there something that you're using that I did not mention in this video? Let's get a conversation going in the comments section. And of course, I will link everything that I shared in this video below for you for your reference as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next one. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys. Oh,